The accused El Paso Walmart shooter Patrick Crucius pleaded guilty to 90 federal charges today. We brought you complete coverage on ABC 7 at 4, 5 and 6, but new tonight at 10. ABC 7 spoke with Crucius's attorney Joe Spencer about today's court hearing. ABC 7 Sarah Correa joins us live in the studio with the details. Sarah. Well, Stephanie, Eric, ABC 7's crew was in the federal courtroom today as Crucius is Crucy has changed his plea from not guilty to guilty. This is just weeks after federal prosecutors announced they will not seek the death penalty. The court didn't allow cameras or recording devices in the courtroom, but we were there to give an in-depth sense of what happened. We got an evil white supremacist who showed up and attacked us for who we are. And as I said three years ago, that person never would have come from this area. He never would have come from El Paso or Juarez or Southern New Mexico. It's not what we're about. Evil, pure evil. Patrick Cruz has walked into the courtroom Wednesday afternoon, shackled and handcuffed. These are sketches of the federal court hearing. He looked different from when he was last seen over three years ago in October of 2019. His body thinner, his hair longer and disheveled. Cruz has stood before the judge as he read all 90 counts, hearing every name of the 23 victims killed, responding guilty for every charge. Tears were shed by victims' families as names of their family members were called. There were no winners here today. Uh, Patrick is going to receive a lifetime uh, of incarceration, a lifetime of punishment. He's going to get 90 consecutive life sentences in the federal court. Joe Spencer, Crucius's attorney, told ABC7 the death penalty isn't the answer. While I can understand that the vengeance is is, is something that, that, that they wish they could get in the form of a death penalty. We uh, believe as young as this young man is, and given his, uh, his mental state, his mental illness, he, there, there are issues in the case. And, uh, and I don't think that a trial trying to seek the death penalty is going to bring any closure or judicial finality for God only knows how long. ABC 7 also spoke with James Montoya, who was an assistant district attorney in the DA's office under Jaime Esparza. Nothing that we can do in the courtroom uh, can ever fill the void that, some, that, that, that they have in their heart. And it's just a very hard reality to wrap your mind around. Crucius was placed on suicide watch soon after the August 3rd shooting. We asked Spencer if he was still on suicide watch. He told us he couldn't say much because of the gag order, but there is concerns with Crucius's mental health, and he is being kept safe by the sheriff's office and marshals. The sentence hearing for Crucius is scheduled for June. Sarah Coria, ABC 7.